They were told a 2 meter long uniform beam of mass 8 kilograms supports a 12 kilogram bag of vegetables at one end and a 6 kilogram bag of fruit at the other end. At what distance from the vegetables should the beam rest on the shoulder to balance and what assumptions do we make? Well, <coughs> we have, um, we're going to kind of basically assume that this is a seesaw. And we'll assume that the shoulder, the forces at the shoulder basically just act at a point right here, which would be the fulcrum. Um, and again, we're assuming that the board doesn't, is rigid so that it doesn't flex. So what we have here is we, we want to figure out what this distance X is um, from the law, um, from the one end, uh, this end, to where it should rest on your shoulder. So we have this free body diagram where we have um, these, the load of the, of the um, beam um, acting through its center of mass. So that would be at one meter from this end. And then we have a six, kilo, a six gram load. Um, so six G acting at one end and 12 G acting at the other end. And we need to figure out this guy. So we can write moments. Okay, and again, we'll take moments about this point here so that the forces that are acting that at, would, forces that are acting from our shoulder will drop out of the equation and we won't have to worry about those. Um, so what do we get? We get, again, I'm calling, um, calling, let's see here, clockwise positive. So we have a counterclockwise moment, 12G times X. Okay, so that's minus 12G times X. Um, we have a clockwise moment that is at, um, has a weight from the force that's the load that's 6G. And then this distance here is X minus 2, or 2 minus X. So 2 minus X gives us this distance here. And then um, we have the weight of the beam itself, so 8G, and the distance from here so this, this total distance here is one uh, meter. So this distance is one minus X. So we have, and that all has to be zero for this thing to be, um, to not rotate about this point. So we have this equation here and all we need to do now is do some algebra to solve for X. So we can start kind of just adding, um, we add up all the X terms and we get minus 26 G times X. Um, we add up all the constant terms and we get uh, 20G. Okay? So 12 plus 8 is 20 and that equals 0. So the G's drop out and we get that X needs to be um, 10 thirteenths of a meter or 0 0.77 um, meters or I guess 77 centimeters.